well, from the fantastical to the very harsh reality of what so many families are dealing with on a medical front here in South Africa. We know that shock are helping families, not only children suffering with cancer, but their families get much needed emotional and financial support. And we know how big your hearts are, guys. We want our Expresso family to help us support shock in buying a brand new home for their families. We've got a QR code on screen right now that you can use to donate via Zappa, but we've got a host of ways that you can donate. We made it so easy to go to expressoshow.com to find out how, and most importantly, why you should be joining us in this incredible cause. And it's not everyone who wakes up in the morning deciding to create the world's largest Madiba cake. But you're about to meet those who actually did. Together with renowned cake artist Dorothy Kirk, uh, Santon City, supported by Cupcakes of Hope, saw an excellent opportunity to raise funds by baking this mountainous statue. And we were there to take a look at this masterpiece take shape. A special edible piece of art, the cake in the form of a dancing President Nelson Mandela, is one which Sandy Cipriano of Cupcakes of Hope has been central to bringing about. So this cake has actually been built in honor of Madiba, it weighs over 750 kilograms, it has 170 kilos of flour, 1,200 eggs, 190 kilos of chocolate, so it definitely is a beautiful sweet tribute to Tata Madiba. So this year we wanted to do something very, very special and I think that you won't find a beautiful, more beautiful cake than this one of Tata Madiba behind us and we wanted to go big so we created a three meter tall Mandela statue cake. So Cupcakes of Hope is a non-profit company. Our aim is to create awareness and we raise funds for children with cancer and we do it through our love of baking cupcakes. We're totally community-based uh, charity where we get the community to bake and donate cupcakes and like that we help children between 50 to 70 children every month and we pay for their medical and day-to-day -day expenses like nappies, travelling costs, nutritional food. So we encourage people uh, to become Cupcake Angels. It is by far the sweetest way to save a life. Well, I got involved in this initiative because um, unfortunately childhood cancer has touched my family and I think it's such a wonderful organisation that helps out families and children with cancer. Um, and I've, I do a lot of charity work and um, when Sandy approached me I said yes, let's do it. I love challenges and I love to be involved with good causes. Okay, this was a, a very challenging cake in the sense that we had such a short time to make it and that we were making it live. and. Uh, and just our restraints uh, without a kitchen. But I must say, Santa has been fantastic in setting up our, um, our place here. And uh, yeah, we had to make it very sturdy. It's three meters tall, which was an engineering feat itself. But I think we've had a wonderful team behind us. And I think that was the most important thing. We've had um, our people building it for us, um, our, our um, people that come in tirelessly working, melting all the chocolate and being here for long, long hours. So I think the challenges that we had before we've met and I think we can be very happy with the end result. First of all, me and the cake are wearing pretty much the same outfit, so I think that is really epic. And also, who doesn't love cake, you know? And a cake that can make a difference is even better, so I think the cake is absolutely amazing. Big shout out to the baker. I think the cake is cool. I didn't realize they'd make it look like a statue. It's, it also really smells nice. Um, it's very cool, very cool. Do I know the flavors that are on the cake? No, but I'm going to assume there's chocolate, you know? So that's about Diva was a chocolate man. I think it's really a great initiative to get, uh, you know, people who are bakers. You know, the one thing that we're trying to do with Nelson Mandela's legacy is to get everybody involved. Whether you're a scientist, whether you're an artist, whether you're a lawyer, um, whether you're a street artist, you know what I mean? So this is a really great way for people to express themselves and to show their love and their honor to Nelson Mandela. So we're very happy to be here and to be part of this event. To get involved, you too can bake 100 cupcakes and help raise 1,000 rand for a child with cancer by registering online at cupcakesofhope.org.